So um, there was this uh, infographic I had to work on for my humanities class. Um, and I was able to do it in one sitting, which is for me at least very surprising. Um, and then I was able to contribute to a discussion as well um, and complete it also. So that's two assignments right off the bat. Oh, awesome. Okay. Thank you. How about you, Rafael? Um, I was able to review a lot of the materials needed for uh, my biology class. And uh, yeah, I was able to complete quite a bit. Uh, I uh, finished the activity sheet and was able to go through three chapters. Okay. Were you using the Zoom video? Did you finish chapter six cell parts? Um, I was uh, I was just using the 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 lecture notes and going through and seeing if I was able to like find anything that would match the activity sheets. Anything else? Uh, okay. No, th that's about it. But it, it's a lot for me. Yeah. How was it like? This is your first. Yeah. Um, it was. It was good. It was good. This is the same technique that I use whenever I'm studying at home. So it's kind of refreshing doing it with other people. The reason why I'm looking up is because the Zoom meeting is up here. So. Right. Yeah, I, I thought so. <laughs> Nia, I uh, would you like to share your secret with us? Sure. Um, so for me, especially because I, I'm taking nine classes right now and I've been super overwhelmed just trying to get everything together. And yeah, I know. Um, so oftentimes my thoughts, when I'll be doing an assignment, my thoughts are drifting to the future and all the other things I have to be doing or all the things I should have already done. And it's taking my focus away from the assignment, which makes me take longer. So um, during the first 50 minute interval, I meditated. Um, I know this mantra, it's Satanama. This is Sa, this is Ta Na Ma. Um, and so I, I did that for 20 minutes and then I did an Om um, mantra for another 20 minutes and I focused on my breathing just so that um, I wasn't in other places. And when a thought came that wasn't serving me in the present moment, I would let it come and then let it go. Um, I wouldn't force it out because that creates too much resistance. I would just observe the thought and then not create attachment with it. Um, and this allowed me to ground myself in this moment because this moment is safe. Um, and especially because when you focus on the future or the past, all your fears are being manifested because all of your attention is going to what could possibly happen. So you're creating that that reality. So I thought it was really important for me to ground myself during that time. And then um, with the remaining time that I had, I got my planner and I wrote out all the things that I had to do just today. Because sometimes when you look at your big calendar that has, like here, I'll show my calendar. This is my calendar for the month. And you can't really see, but I have, it's so tiny, but there's so much assignments on every single day and you get super overwhelmed when you look at it from the big picture so by making it just for the day I can focus on just these things and not overwhelm myself sorry I talked for so long <laughs> that was wonderful you gave ideas make a short list that you can attack right you can tackle yeah. so that was a good one how was it like for you today with us versus doing it on your own um I felt like by doing it with you guys, I was almost held accountable because sometimes um, I will want to meditate, but I'm like, but I have so much work to do. So I only put in like five minutes, which isn't enough time to really ground yourself sometimes. So by having this time dedicated in the day and I had it carved out, um, it really didn't give me an excuse to be like, oh, well, I'm just going to go do an assignment like I had all three hours or two hours to sit down and really dedicate to this. So I did like being on the call while um, doing the meditations and stuff. I'm glad, I'm glad you could share and I'm glad it could, it, it was helpful. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. Thank you. Angel. 
Uh, yeah, um, so it is my first time joining. Um, I did like it. Um, kind of like what Nia said, I had to hold myself accountable. I couldn't really slack off because <laughs> everybody was there watching and everything. So it made me stay focused. Um, I was able to complete uh, my state and local government homework and essay APA format, which probably I would have slacked off and waited a little last minute. Mm. But um, yes, I like it. I like the breaks, the active breaks that keep me up. Yeah. I hope to see you all on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. If you don't have any other commitments, come join and be a part of these, these groups, which are helping you do your own work, but at the same time, giving you that confinement to stay in that block of 50 minutes and getting the work done, right? That little something is there, which is helping us do it with full focus. So yeah, that was wonderful guys. I'm happy that you're getting all these things done and uh, you're going to use your time well with this habit. Yeah, let's make it a good habit. Let's pass it on. Please make your own small communities, your friends, your classmates, whoever, and or family and give this to more people. Make your own community. As I said, you know, I won't be able to do this for very long with you guys. Only next week. That's it. Right. After that, you're going to do on your own. Okay. Uh, by the way, let's all show of the focus graphs that you started. If you have them. Can I see your focus graphs? Awesome. Bring it closer, Angel. Yay. There you go. You're getting the point. I hope it's helping over the time. It's just a reminder. We reminding ourselves that I need to be more focused. You know, I got distracted. Oh my God, I'm accountable to myself, right? Okay. Um, I'll see you next week. Please continue if you like 50 minutes on your own. I want you to do on your own also and see how it goes. Okay. Yeah. Take care guys. Bye.